in trapezoid abcd segments ab and cd are parallel point p is the intersection of diagonals ac and bd the area of triangle pab is 16 square units and the area of triangle pcd is 25 square units what is the area of triangle abcd so we have been given a trapezium in which ab and cd are parallel lines and area of apb triangle is 16 square units and area of triangle pcd is 25 square units we need to find out what is the area of trapezium abcd now if we observe here we can see some similar triangle so what is our approach to solve this problem now we can see that this triangle apb is similar to triangle cpd if these two triangles are similar to each other then their areas will be in the ratio of squares of their corresponding sides and altitudes we'll use that logic to try to find out what will be the side AB, CD and the distance between the parallel lines AB and CD. So let us start by proving that this, there are two triangles which are similar to each other that is APB and CPD. So let us write down that. We can say in triangle a p b comma triangle c p d what we know we know that alternate interior angles are equal So we have AA similarity criteria because we have parallel lines, we have alternate interior angles. So we can write down angle PAB is equal to angle PCD, alternate interior angles. Similarly, we have angle ABP is equal to angle CDP so these two triangles are similar to each other by AA similarity criteria now once we know there are two similar triangles, immediately we know the areas will be in the ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. That means we know that area of APB divided by area of CPD is equals to 16 by 25 but that is equals to AB by CD whole square that is also equals to H1 by H2 whole square if we take the altitudes as H1 and H2 let us say we can take this is altitude h1 and h2 so we know that the corresponding sides and the corresponding altitudes are in the same ratio also we know that areas are in the ratio of squares of the corresponding sides now this logic we can apply and we can easily find out now area of the tra trapezium or trapezoid abcd so let's go ahead and write the next step 
since we know 16 by 25 is AB by CD whole square, that means we know that AB by CD is equals to H1 by H2 equals to square root of 16 by 25, that is 4 by 5. So, let us say AB equals to 4x, then CD will be 5x. Similarly, H1 equals to 4h, then H2 will be 5h. Now, what is the area of any one of these triangles? Let us see. Area of triangle APB is equals to 16. That means, half into base AB, which is equals to 4x, multiply that with h1, h1 is equals to 4h is equals to 16. When we simplify that, we get xh equals to 2. Now, this will be useful to us when we go and try to find out the area of trapezium in the next step. Now, let us see how to calculate the area of trapezium ABCD. We know that area of trapezium is equals to half into sum of parallel sides that is 4x plus 5x multiply that with the distance between the parallel lines that is h1 plus h2 can I write it as 4h plus 5h simplify this we will have half into 9x into 9h which is equals to half into 81 into xh but we already know xh equals to 2 so we will get 81 square units so the area of trapezium or trapezoid abcd is equals to 81 square units let's have a recap of this problem we have been given that AB is parallel to CD and the diagonals AC and BD intersect at point P. We have been given that area of triangle APB is 16 square units and area of triangle CPD is 25 square units. We need to find out what is the area of the trapezoid or trapezium ABCD. Our logic to solve this problem is to prove that there are two similar triangles. The given triangles are similar to each other and using areas of similar triangles theorem which states that if two triangles are similar to each other then the ratio of their areas is equals to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides which is also equals to the ratio of squares of corresponding altitudes, medians, perpendicular bisectors, perimeter, all of them in the same ratio. Now, what we did, so we got that the ratio of the corresponding sides are 4 is to 5. So, we took 4x, 5x and the altitudes as 4h and 5h. Then, we equated the area to one of the triangles area to the given value so that we can calculate what is x into h then we used the area of trapezium formula that half into sum of parallel sides into distance between the parallel lines half into 9x into 9h and that is equals to 81 square units as we know xh equals to 2 square units